do this dome, this dome shaped waistline. This one that went this way. So you know this dome. Ogaruna, and we get the one one. Here the name and car nude, nude material. Get the about green, nude material that rhymes with her skin color. Mm, get it down here about the main green door face. So that's why you won't, you'll be wondering how they did the stuff and all that. So now what you do is from this high waistline, these are actual, these are true waist, the high waistline. So how many inches did she come down from? That's from here to here. Can you hold the good you have one of three abbey? Okay, so we are also going to come down from she is going to come down from the center. From this center now we'll come down by two inches three inches. Ijoma, three inches is okay, right? Okay, your tip. So three inches is okay, right? So we'll come down by three inches. Please you should make sure you repeat as many complex waistlines as possible. That's the only way you will learn it. Then give me your sketch pattern. I want to I want to place your sketch pattern here. So from here to here, we came down by three inches. Front skirt pattern. So now that we've done this one, we're going to fold in this dart allowance as well. So we close up the dart. So now that we've closed up with that, we're going to take the front skirt pattern, which we previously cut, which we previously cut. Okay, okay. So this is the waistline now. So we're taking the front um, skirt pattern. We're placing it on the waistline. I have see. I'm, I'm covering all these things that I've already marked. So I'm making sure that it's running with the waistline. Because that was actually where we did the whole cutting thing from. So this is the normal sewing allowance, which kind of started here. Then this is the your skirt shape. So you are copying your skirt shape onto the body of the paper, because your paper was actually drafted as a high waisted blouse. So but now you are not doing high. You are not stopping at the high waist to cut again and have a boring waistline on the high waistline so where do you think like this um this place now you see it stopped almost on her hip line that mm. curve it stopped for me i'll stop here mm. but speaking of where i'll stop remember even those people that have touched their patterns remember that your sewing allowance is two inches just remember the sewing allowance is two inches so if you need to um sorry so you go ahead and connect it i'm not saying you connect you need to connect it i'm just saying so that overall let me just show you so that it won't be that you go and connect and connect this way if you connect this way your curve will stop here which you don't want you want your curve to stop here so now i'm going to actually stop here So once again, this is our inspiration from Vicky James. So that's a dome shape. So we just go ahead and pop this here. So that's just about it. So that's the dome. So it's very, very, very easy. So now, okay, sorry. Let me let me make my alterations on the skirt. So you're going to add your sewing allowance of 0 0.5. 0.5 yes all the way you add your swing so remember from this center front we came down by three inches so then we now did it to get to this point so now that we did it to get to this point let me measure i want to measure this distance it's not so like sorry, seven point 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 
everything is strange as anyway. So seven points. Um, so this is where it stops. So now this is what we are going to do from the center. Since you came down, I came in okay. So yeah. since you came down by three inches from the high waistline, you also come down by three inches for this particular one. So all you just have to do is that the only diff the only thing now with this one is that I can't just do my freehand curve again. I have to even if I do freehand curve, it might not rhyme. So I'll, I'll just test the pattern. I'll test the pattern and see. Normally you can test with an LED light. Let me just this. Let me place it here. You see? Do you see how that cardboard paper? Peter, I not to paper. She didn't use it. So, or you can get your tracing wheel. Let's use tracing wheel and trace it. So we just place it on top of here. In fact, you can go ahead and cut it now. So it's just that. Let me cut. Sorry. Sorry. Can I cut? And let, so let me just cut it now. So cutting is, is actually the surest, surest method of actually transferring it. Okay, so that's just it. So just the 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. You're going to eliminate here. So let me cut this part off too. Sorry, I'm going to have to use the permanent marker to do the smoking. Sorry, let me check the exact Please let me use a permanent marker. The pencil is not giving me what I need. Okay, so we we'll mark to this point. So this one should actually rest on the red line. So, so this one also rests here. So you're going to use, you're going to use your permanent marker. Okay, that's it. So now that we are done, we're going to take time and add 0 0.5 here, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So um, I know Ijoma does not like stress. So if you, if, you, if you don't want to do this thing, this whole thing going this way, you just carry your ruler and just extend it. What it means now is that you just extend here too. You just add small paper to this side. Just give me my skin tip. Let me add small paper so that I'll just extend here as so. well. But you, you understand what I'm doing? Because I would do want you to waste time dealing with the sharp corners there when you can just go ahead and finish up your manual work. So I'm going to cut, I'll cut this one off on the skirt now directly. So, cut it off. So, I'm going to do this here. So, I'll just drag this this line here down. So, we'll just connect this one to this one. And now we are done. So, we just. So you can take your time now and repeat it. So when you're cutting, you just cut this way. So when we place the fabric, 
all placed together you see that it runs perfectly but we actually want to sew this clothes where you want to put your pattern remember me the usual you open up here so after you sew your dots and all that so we just add 0 0.5 0 0.5 0.5 so that's just about it okay. so do you have any more questions okay, okay. do you want that waistline in, at the back if you want to add it back you can alter it too straight yeah okay straight yeah. straight but nobody has done a symmetric